man, if somebody did like Craig did during these world trials, like say Chael Sonny came and was like, I had a million dollar wrestling tournament during oh, the knock, that'd be or the crazy. world champ. Give Remember, me a million like, dollars. No, everybody that wrestles off, all these guys, he poached them from that are qualified for the world trials and said, Here, here's a million dollar tournament for you guys, 10 grand to wrestle in it. What do you think we'd do? They'd all leave. I'm saying though, give you a million dollars and you probably create something like Craig Jones created for wrestling. Because I know you got good give ideas. Me, don't give me a backer. I I I I've been uh having this seed planted in my head for a few days now since that if I can get the Fair Fight Foundation on board, that we can disrupt, you know, the wrestling entities too. Break up that yeah. whole monopoly with USA wrestling and flow. And now we got an outside source running wrestling. Now we have a televised on a wrestling Wednesday channel. And we have the best faces in wrestling being built up like individual brands like they do at UFC, like they do at jujitsu and market these individual players. These wrestlers, though, you know what I mean? That are, you know, that are the big names. Right. Is that something you're serious about or just Yeah, the sport needs to get mainstream the same way you you know there's Saturday night fights, you know there's Monday night football. There's there should be it should be known that there's Wednesday wrestling, whether it's NCAA wrestling, high school wrestling, collegiate wrestling, or senior level wrestling. You know what I mean? Wrestling Wednesday should be televised. And it should just be known that if you tune in on Wednesday, you got wrestling. And then they gotta change the way that the sport is uh presented to the public. You go to Russia, Iran. You know, India, Azerbaijan, you go any other country, basically. They see cauliflower here. They see wrestler. They're like, oh, fighter, fighter, wrestler. Treated like we treat basketball, football. You here, know? it's not the same. With the, what? Well, they just don't understand how they're directly proportional. The wrestlers transition into the, the grapplers transition. They don't understand how it's a combat sport. And it's one of the essential parts of mixed martial arts. So when they're watching MMA, UFC, they don't understand that what they're really watching amidst high-level striking is high-level grappling and wrestling. You know what I mean? So if they understood that this sport is is uh, directly proportional to your survivability and winning a fight and being able to control where a fight takes place, taking somebody down versus not getting taken down, being held down or escaping, if these things were presented like that, I think it'd be real easy for the mainstream, you know, civilians to follow and get behind, you know, as fans. I think you increase the fan base that way. I see. So you got to have more mainstream stuff to promote ahead of the Olympics, not just like, boom, here's yeah. the Olympics. And then here's all these wrestlers who right. we haven't even told their story before in right. the last like three, four years. Right. Here's all these athletes that you've been seeing their story for years. And here is what they're doing. And you show that. And, and here's MMA. And it's coming here's up on now. this date. Yeah. Yeah. And now here's how it's approaching. Now here's the best of the best of all those athletes that you've been seeing every Wednesday. Now that all these names that you know and familiar with and stories and backgrounds, countries and representations and, you know, sexual orientation, this, that, the third. Now you can relate to these people. You want to see this story go against this story and see who has the good ending and see who gets the goal. You know, now it's like a movie. Now people can actually follow it. And they want to be a part of it as a fan. That's what WWE's done well. You know, the fake wrestling. They have the big characters. They got the heel. They got the storytelling. And it's a big movie. You know what I mean? So adopt pieces of it and uh, adopt pieces of the Craig Jones Invitational. Adopt pieces of the, the No Gi. Adopt pieces of the UFC Fight Pass. Take the best elements of it all and put out a new wrestling product that, you know, society can get behind. That'd be cool.